Hi, my name is Julie Harris and I'm the Calm Mum Coach I Just wanted to make you um, a really quick video, should only be a couple of minutes hopefully. Because uh, I was talking to a friend at the weekend um, and she, I asked her quite simply how her weekend had been. And she told me she'd had a great weekend but when she went to pick the kids up from her husband's, uh, from her ex-husband, sorry, on the Sunday night, um, everything changed and she had an argument with him and it just took the whole shine off the weekend it just spoiled the weekend for her and she spent the next two days really really upset about this argument so before we go any further I want to ask you a quick question and I'd love it if, if you've got a pen write this down write the answer down last time you had um, either an argument with somebody or got upset with somebody last time, time somebody did something to upset you how did they make you feel? Just a couple of words to describe the emotion or to name the emotion. How did they make you feel? And then I'm going to come back to that at the end. So, like I say, she had words with her husband, She, with her ex-husband. She thought he was um, trying to turn the kids against her, basically. And, like I say, she was really, really upset. She'd had a fantastic weekend. She she did, really enjoyed it until it came time to, to pick the children up. And she spent the next couple of days holding back tears, really, because she just felt every time this every time the kids went to their fathers, she just... He spoiled it. He, you know, he was saying things to the children and, and he spoiled her weekend. She just knew there was going to be some sort of argument to... Um, you know to look forward to or not to look forward to so what I what I said to her is when you're in this pattern of behavior with your ex-husband he is controlling your life still he is still allowing you or, or he is still making you feel a certain way. Or that's what she thought he's still making her, him feel a certain way. But actually, it's not the event that makes us feel a certain way. It's the beliefs around that event that make us feel that way. So I want you to remember, if this happens to you ever, I want you to remember a really quick and easy way to change your thinking about it. Just remember A, B, C. And the A stands for the activating event. So in this case, this would be the argument with her husband. The B is for beliefs. And in this case, she's got negative beliefs around the event, you know, the situation that happened with her husband. And the C is the consequences. Um, so she went straight from, I had an argument, that makes me stressed and annoyed and irritated and, and really fed up but she can choose to change her thinking we, we get into a pattern of behavior where it just becomes a habit to fall back into that way of thinking it's 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 just a habit it's easier to do that than, than to challenge our thinking about it so if you remember ABC if you've got something stressful coming up something challenging coming up something coming up where you know, you know you always come away from that situation feeling feeling really irritable, annoyed, stressed, um, you know, it really affects your confidence, whatever it is. Replace the belief, work out what your belief is first of all, because once you know you've got this belief, you can do something about it. So maybe the belief is, um, he's turning my children against me. He's making my children think I'm not a good mum. Or if it's uh, a meeting with a colleague who, you know, is always trying to put you down, maybe it's the belief is, I'm not as good as them. I'm, you know, I'm not as qualified as them. I shouldn't be doing this job. Whatever it is, identify that belief. And those beliefs are often buried really deeply. So you, you may have to do some searching to dig them out. But identify that belief and replace it with something more empowering. So in the case of my friend with her ex-husband, the empowering belief she's going to replace it with is, wow, aren't I lucky I'm not with him anymore? Or, wow, aren't I a strong person to have left that relationship? Or, I am 
a good communicator and I communicate well at work, therefore I can use my communication skills to sit down and communicate with my husband and my ex-husband in a different way. When you have those different beliefs about the event, then the consequences are different. Then you realise, I can do something about this. I can talk differently to my husband when I, can, when I go and pick the kids up. So instead of being in a really bad mood when I get there, I can be calm and controlled and talk to him differently. And if he comes to the door looking for an argument, I just say, look, I don't want to argue about it. I don't want to talk about it now. I'll talk to you later about it or you know send me an email or a text or whatever. You can be better prepared and you can have a different outcome. So just to summarise, A, what is the activating event? What is the belief about that event which is probably but which will be a disempowering belief if it leads to negative emotions? And how are you going to turn that disempowering belief into something which is more useful, which is more empowering, which is going to help you behave differently in the future and control your emotions in the, in the future so that you don't feel those really unpleasant emotions. So thank you for watching this video. Um, like I said, my name is Julia Harris. I am the Calm Mum Coach and if you want more tips on um, how to stop being stressed and shouty and to start being calm, confident in, and in control, if you go to calmmumsecrets.com you can download my ebook. Or if you just um, look in the comments box below, there'll be a link which will take you straight there. Thanks for listening.